Celebrating Valentine's Day in Islam Part 2 In the last few years the phenomenon of imitating the Christian in celebrating with what is called Valentine's Day, spread in our Islamic societies especially among young men and women. In the name of Allah. Praise be to Allah who has no partners or rivals, and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and upon his family and companions. The Almighty Allah says, and do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Al-Isra is 1732. 32. Be careful of fornication and avoid things that prompt it. It is extremely detestable and bad path to traverse as it leads to the mixing of lineages and punishment from Allah. Al-Isra 32. Valentine's Day. Dear beloved brothers, in the last few years the phenomenon of imitating the Christian in celebrating with what is called Valentine's Day, spread in our Islamic societies especially among young men and women. Islamic Situation Towards Love Dear brothers and sisters, there is no religion urges its followers on love, intimacy and unity like Islam. The Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said, if one of you likes his brother, he should inform him with that. Muslims' passion is extended to include everything even inanimate bodies. Note, the glorious Quran tells us that everything has a kind of life to glorify and remember Allah. The Almighty Allah says, And there is not a thing except that it exalts Allah by his praise, but you do not understand their way of exalting. Al-Isra 17,44 So be aware of this reality. 44. The heavens glorify Allah. The earth glorifies Allah. Every creation in the heavens and the earth also glorifies Allah. There is nothing except that it declares his purity together with his praise, but you do not comprehend their manner of glorifying him. This is because you only understand the glorification of those who do so in your language. He is forbearing, not get to punish, and he is forgiving to those who repent to him. Al-Isra 44 The Prophet peace and blessings be upon him told us that he loves Ahud mountain as he said, this is Ahud, a mountain loves us and we love it. Agreed upon. In Islam, love is not restricted on certain time or one picture as love in our religion is more common and comprehensive than that between man and woman. There are many kinds of eminent and great love like love of Almighty Allah, His Messenger, Prophet's family, Prophet's companions, righteous people, religion and martyrdom in the cause of Allah. So it is not right to restrict all kinds of love on that kind of love between man and woman. We should concentrate on the following two realities. Firstly, Islam is a perfect religion and everything except Islam is null, as Almighty Allah has chosen it for us to be our religion. Almighty Allah says, This day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as religion. Almighty 5 colon 3 3. Today I have perfected for you your religion, which is Islam. I have completed my apparent and hidden favors on you. I have selected Islam as your religion, so I will not accept any other. Almighty 3. So we are not in need to what is called Valentine's Day as it is not included in our religion. Secondly, we should know that all innovative things which are not included in Islam are offensive and malignant, even if they were named with beautiful names, like Day of Love. Our present era is the era of fraud, quackery and lying on people, whereas the usury was named with interest, hypocrisy was named with courtesy, wine was named with alcoholic beverages. Lying was named with diplomacy, adultery was named with freedom, adhering to Islam was named with terrorism and fanaticism, prostitution and immorality memory were named with Valentine's Day. Some Sharia violations included in celebrating with what is called Valentine's Day. O oh, Muslim brothers and sisters, every year on 14th of February, some people celebrate with what is called Valentine's Day which should be called the incident of killing Valentine. Whatever the reality of this story, we as Muslims should warn against some Sharia violations that are included in celebrating what is called Valentine's Day, among which are the following. Firstly, Celebrating in that day is an imitation to the Christians, while Muslim was ordered to differ from them. The Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said what means you, Muslims, should be different from Jews and Christians. Also, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him said, whoever assimilates himself to a group of people, he is considered one of them, declared authentic by Al-Albani. As we all know celebrating with that day is a Christian occasion. Secondly, it is a kind of lying and fraud to name that day with, love day, as that name is a sweet cover for this profligate habit. Thirdly, it became a day of immorality and committing depravity openly and in the daylight as the mass media conveys in that day. Fourthly, 
It is a kind of distortion to the reality if love in Islam. As Islam didn't fight love or lovers but it organized this passion in its right official framework if a man loved a woman. He should directly go to her family to engage and marry her according to Almighty Allah's guidance and his prophet's sunnah, and not to be like darkening bats or night thieves who are secretly away of people's eyes, satisfying their lusts. Fifthly, this celebration opens the door for committing adultery while Islam prohibited adultery and all the ways that lead to it to keep lineage, and also to keep good relations and coherence among the Muslim society. The Almighty Allah says, and do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Indeed, it is ever an immorality and is evil as a way. al Isra is 1732. 32. Be careful of fornication and avoid things that prompt it. It is extremely detestable and bad path to traverse as it leads to the mixing of lineages and punishment from Allah. al Isra 32. Sixthly. It includes a violation to the straight Islamic way, as the statistics prove that the marriage based on Islamic instructions is more stable and permanent unlike the marriage. Preceded by a relation, what they call love, between the couple. Which is unsuccessful marriage in most times and usually ends with divorce as it was built on Allah's anger, in addition to prevailing of lying, fraud, lust and greed between the couple. Attention. In every unlawful relationship between man and woman, actually the big loser is the woman. So be aware our sisters. Be aware our daughters. Very important note. In Islam the punishment of committing adultery is equal for both man and woman, while in people's traditions and customs is different as they consider committing adultery by a woman is a great sin, while committing it by a man is a small sin. Indeed there is a big difference between Almighty Allah's justice and that of human beings. There is also a great difference between people's laws and Islamic Sharia legislation. Seventhly, Celebrating that day is a kind of following the malicious destructive rumors, as the corrupting people in press and media make these evil sins seem fair to deceive Islamic nation. Warning It is prohibited to sell, buy, or give presents like flowers, hearts, cards or gifts with the intention of celebrating this profligate habit, Valentine's Day. There is no contradiction between feeling softness and the obedience to Almighty Allah. When Muslim warn against this and the similar habits, it doesn't mean that he has no feeling or he is tough as the hypocrites claim, but Islam has taught the man the softness of feeling and mercy. Almighty Allah says Muhammad, and we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the worlds, Alan Baya, 21 107. 102. O Muhammad. I have not sent you as a messenger, except as a merciful one to the whole of creation. This is because you are distinguished with aspiring for the guidance of all people and their safety from the punishment of Allah. Say, O Messenger, it is only revealed to me from my Lord that your true deity is only one, he has no partner, and he is Allah. So submit to believing in him and acting in his obedience. Alan Baya 107-108 Islam prohibited celebrating with this habit and Muslim was ordered to be an obedient slave for Almighty Allah alone, and not to be a slave for Jaws or Christians. In addition, this habit has many harmful destructive effects even if those treacherous try to make it desirous and describe it as a beautiful human feeling. A call. We ask fathers, mothers, teachers, and officials in mass media, TV, radio, newspapers, and magazines to warn our daughters and sons against this profligate prohibited habits. The Almighty Allah says O oh, you who have believed, protect yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is people and stones, over which are appointed angels, harsh and severe. They do not disobey Allah in what he commands them, but do what they are commanded. At Tarim 66 colon 6. 6. O oh, those who have faith in Allah and act according to what he has legislated for them. Put up a barrier for yourselves and your families against a huge fire which is stoked with people and stones. Appointed over this fire are tough angels who are harsh to whoever enters it. They do not disobey the command of Allah when he commands them, and they do whatever he commands them to do without hesitation or showing weakness. At Tarim 6. O Almighty Allah, we ask you to keep our sons and daughters of these sins and evils and to make us among those who listen to the word and follow the best thereof. Finally, this is the fatwa of Sheikh Ibn Uthameen, may Allah bestows his mercy upon him, on 5 11 14 20 ah. The question, recently, the celebration of Valentine's Day spread, especially among schoolgirls as they wear red clothes and exchange flowers, although it is one of Christian fests. So we ask you to clarify the jurisprudential ruling of celebration with that day, and what are your directions for Muslims in this respect? The answer, the celebration with Valentine's Day is not permissible for the following. 
First, it is innovated day and has no basis in Islamic Sharia legislation. Second, it invites to the unlawful love and passion. Third, it invites the heart to be occupied with these trivial matters which contradict the way of our righteous ancestors, may Allah be blessed with them. So it is not permissible for Muslim to perform any of the fest rituals in that day whether in clothes, food, giving presents, or other things. As the Muslim should be proud with his religion and not to be a trivial who follows every caller. And I ask Almighty Allah to keep all Muslims from all visible and invisible seditions. Islam includes all kinds of right and excludes all evils. Finally, we should know that what Almighty Allah gave us of Quran and Sunnah is an honor for us, while what he prevented, like Valentine's Day, is an evil from which we were protected. Praise be to Allah who guided us to Islam. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.